Let's talk about how often do we clean our enclosure for the snails. And welcome to the slime side again. This is a question where snail experts also divide in opinion. I will tell you why some people say you shouldn't clean the enclosure at all and some people say well you should based on some circumstances so why you shouldn't clean your enclosure for the snails some snails react very sensitive to changes so if you change anything in the terrarium or you put plants on other different spots or something some snails react very sensitive to that how you can see that your snail reacts sensitive to things is it hides in the shell very deep you know you you pick them up and, it, and the snail is very deep inside the house that means something is wrong the snail is not feeling good that can have different reasons why but sometimes it is because of the changes and if you have a terrarium you have organisms you have a micro you have a micro organism world inside your terrarium and you don't want to change it because then it has to start all over again you know uh, that you have like the right climate the right microorganisms inside the terrarium it's better not to change the soil at all actually for the snail but in some cases for example if you smell like a very strong smell like rotten then the earth produces nitrate and nitrate is bad for your house for the house of your snail it can maybe also cause some bacterial infection on the snail itself so you don't want that if it smells rotten and very bad you need to change the soil that is for example time to change the soil second time is if you see worms not all worms are bad like i said microorganisms you know form in the terrarium that are very good it keeps the climate and your snail lives together with microorganisms that is very good for the snail but some worms for example um uh, nematode raptilia or something like that it doesn't matter but this worm you recognize because of the way it moves so we have two worms that are very common with if you have snails. One is Enchitrea and the other one is this Nematode, Raptilia, whatever. And Enchitrea are very good and they move, you know, like this somehow. They move slow and how I can how I can describe that? It's uh they move like this picture, okay? And very slow but both look the same they're like white thin small the nematode raptilia moves like a snake it moves like this and it moves fast it moves like this maybe it's hard for beginners to recognize which is which but the one is very good and the other one is not so good if you see a worm a thin white small worm that moves like a snake you know like this on the glass or on the snail or in the water or somewhere then it's time to change the soil but other than that these two options like first if it smells like rotten second if you see this worm that moves like a snake then it's time to change the soil other than that you don't need to change the soil at all that's why i have snails because i'm lazy as fuck you know <laughs> So um, that is how I do that. And that is how most people that have snails for a long time do it because you will recognize they need all this microorganisms in the terrarium to feel, you know, because they live in symbiosis with these other small creatures. So if this was any helpful, then uh, feel free to subscribe this channel and I will upload new content from now and then. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time on the slime side.